for Trev Ryan Adventures. Um, we're down here in Portland, Victoria at the Portland Buggy Club where they um, have the most amazing sand dunes to fall drive on. And I uh, thought I'd just do a bit of a run through on our fantastic little J-Pod. Um, we have a great J-Pod group on Facebook. Um, I think it's a, a bit of a fave. So I thought I'd do a bit of a run through of our awesome little J-Pod and the different modifications we've done on our, on our van. Um, we'll start with the fact that I always keep the fridge in the car for us. So we keep the back of the camper completely open so there's no space we can hop out of bed. We're not you know, tied up or caught up. So we'll start at the front of the van and we'll look at the stone guard. So we added the stone guard to protect the front of the van. Um, it's a coast to coast product that uh, Row 4x4 does sell these, um, but it's a good little thing. It's got the little mud flaps on it. When you look around the front here, in our front storage box, this is a 2017 J-Pod Sports. The things that we keep in our front box, we've got a 15 amp power cord. Um, there's a hose in there. There's a hacksaw in there. There's a funnel in there. We keep our temp pegs in there. And of course the gas bottle. Now we go around this side here and we've got sullage hose. There's levelers, the jack, 15 amp adapter. Um, what else is in there? And there's the hammers in there, in that one as well. So all those things we want to get at for a maintenance type thing is all in the front toolbox. Now while we're in the front here, um, we've added to our camper a, a Truma Ultra Rapid Hot Water System which runs on 240 volt or gas. Now it gives us the ability to have a hot and cold shower. So we put our shower tent normally here and um, we put the rose into the tent. And of course you can have your, have your hot and cold shower um, wash the camper, whatever you want to do really. Um, so while we're talking about that, in this compartment down here, we actually moved the pump into here. So you can see the, the back of the actual shower box. So we put the pump in here just to allow a bit more space under the bed for everything else. This is the vent for the hot water system. And of course, if you know the J-Pods, you know that you've got your water ingress, your power, um, the solar plug, which we don't use. We, um, we moved our rain, bush ranger awning, the original one that came with the camper, over to this side. Normally, we would put the tent in this position over here, um, but we've got the Darchi 270 on the opposite side. So we use the Darchi 270 because it's simple. We set up here yesterday and it was less than 10 minutes to, to do everything. So. Um, for us, we like the simplicity. We don't want to do tents. We don't want to carry poles. We don't want to be putting up stuff. Um, this is simple. Now, we use the Sovereign RV um, barbecue. This is, I, I got this about 2011. It's still going strong. We've got a, a plate down there. We can use the barbie plate. And of course, we've got the, um, the normal stove type. Like I said before, with the, the Truma, we've got hot and cold water to the sink, which is really good because you want to do dishes. It's just like being home. It's just great. I put a work light over the, over the kitchen area just for a bit of extra light at night. <clears throat> we underslung the axle on this. I kept bumping my head on the door, so we underslung the axle. It gives the, the J-Pod a little bit more extra clearance. We got rid of the 45 litre um, 45 litre water tank and we added a 90 litre water tank so we've actually got more water capacity on this as well we added the side table um, it's one of the best things we've done because we use it all the time preparation um, somewhere to put the coffee somewhere to make coffee um, we like our sink area here I did consider putting the um, the stove in this point here but when we're doing dishes and stuff it just gives you a space to put your, your clean dishes and all that sort of stuff uh, when you've done your dishes. So I've chose not to go down the track of doing the, the burners there and just kept the, the Bushman going. Um, we're using the um, fabulous Clearview Cutlery Utensil Kit. Um, we like the knives, we like the flexibility. I put a couple of hooks up here so we can um, just hang it up. Everything's there, I wanna make coffee, the teaspoons are there. The knives are really sharp. We looked at other kits, and the other kits had like plastic handles, where these are actually a good quality stainless steel knife. They're sharp, they're really good. Um, the other thing we've done, you can see up here, we put a big long LED light across the top. 
So in this area here, which is your main kitchen area, we've got heaps and heaps of lighting, which is really good. Now looking around the back, um, we put the young fella's tent on the inside for this trip. There's still heaps of space for, for whatever we want, really. The best part about the Darcy 270 with the walls, if you get inclement weather, you get awful rain, which we have had plenty of times. It just gives you a massive family space to enjoy, relax, um, uh, and not be sort of uh, affected by the, the elements. Um, so plenty of space. Uh, you can see on the other side there, there's, there's a gap that's good for us because if the tent's on the other side, particularly in the middle of the night, if you go, have to go for a twinkle, um, it's a good spot to escape. Um, so going into the back, we've got bug mesh. This bug mesh is now four years old. Um, it's still going strong. Um, we love it. We, we just, it's just the best thing for our campus. Um, we don't get any bugs. We never have issues with bugs. Um, so I just like the simplicity of it. Going inside, keep the bare essentials underneath. So there's a solar panel there, there's a table there, over the back behind the battery. I've got to move the battery, I want the battery over in the corner. I haven't done that yet. Um, but there's a little toilet behind the battery. This yellow tub, which is the tub that comes with the camper, we keep all the Darchi uh, walls in there. In behind there, there's a sink, and over in the back there, is our Truma hot water system over in the back. Um, under here we'll keep the tent, but I think we're gonna be changing over to swag soon, so we won't take the tent anymore. There's some even matting, which is what I'm standing on outside here, that goes in here. And that's about all we put in, um, all we put under the bed. Um, simple, all simple stuff. So down the back, um, I'm not sure whether you can see it, but we've, We've actually, um, down the back where you had the 12 volt plugs, we put USB both sides. And um, we put two Sirocco fans. Now we virtually never sleep with the, the door closed. So last night, um, it was just beautiful, door open, it was warm, it was comfortable. But if it is really hot, um, the two Sirocco fans just move the air around and it just makes it really comfortable. Um, in the first compartment, we've got a 240 volt kettle and a couple of power boards. On the first compartment on this side, I should just stick to one side, I've got a 240 volt um, toaster. So we do stop in 12 volts, 240 volts. Um, I can just use the, the toaster. Then up the top, we've got all the plates and we've got cups. And that's the old cutlery. We need to probably take that out of there. But before we had the, the clear view set, we had our cutlery. Down here, we've got our utensils, chopping boards, plates, all that sort of stuff, colanders, um, all the things we need for our kitchen. The top will have more utensils. We've probably got an overkill of utensils. Um, so that's what we use our tubs. The second compartment, we've got some leads. In here, we've got funnels, first aid kits, headlights, mozzie zappers, um, that sort of stuff. Going outside of the camper, in here we use this, usually tissue sitting in the top one, matches, things we're gonna grab all the time, tea towels in the bottom. Um, we also, when we pack up, the two straps for the Darchi goes down in these compartments. So these compartments for us is that quick grab, open the door, put the Darchi up, grab the straps, and um, it's quick, quick. Um, but we keep the back completely clear. We wanna hop out of bed in the middle of the night, we're not clumbering over anything, I don't know if that's a word but we're not, you know, nothing's getting in the way. We got rid of all the plastic clips on this, so we put L brackets just about everywhere around all the timber work. Um, just if we do get a corrugated road, we don't want the thing rattling apart um, because um, these are made, a lot of the interiors got a lot of staples, plastic clips, those sort of things that they don't last in corrugation. So we put little L brackets and actual screws right through the camper. And that certainly helps with um, um, keeping it like strong and, and the integrity of the interior really good. So we'll go outside here, we're out here before, and then you can see the outside of the awning. So nice, nice lot of space. Darchi is a fantastic balance of quality, strength, and certainly price. And um, it's probably the best thing we've done on our camper. Uh, only only second, I guess, would be the hot water system because the hot water system gives us normality. Um, the other yellow lid tub that we got with the camper, we put all our dry food 
in there. So when we travel, we put the coffee in there. The things that we just um, just the non-perishable stuff. But this is um, this is our wonderful little J Pod Sport. It's uh, number two. Um, it's a good little camper. The simplicity of um, of I guess no big tents and and uh, no canvas when you set up. You've only got the awning. The awning's easy to dry. And uh, look, it's just a, a good little camper. So yeah, it's got everything you need. The the new um, Jayco Outbacks look really good because it's got independent suspension. A few more features than this, but as a J Pod Sport, this is specced up to what we like. You know, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea because I know, particularly on the J Pod page, people use tents. They use all different options, and that's good for what they do. Um, but this is what we do and this is what we enjoy um, <clears throat> we like simple we like to get here get it up like yesterday we arrived we're in a big group there there's Michael there um, everyone's got different types of campers there's a the gold fields over there um, so everyone's got their different options but we arrived here yesterday and they all wanted to get out on the sun sand dunes so we set this up really really fast um, and off we went and that's what it's about for us we don't want to be doing our long um, setups so the Jayco J-Pod for us is a good little unit. I just thought I'd do a little video on it and um, give people the idea of what ideas, I guess, of what you can do with these great little campers.